Grumpy Cat. One day, just a regular grumpy old house cat. Today, a household name. Adored by millions, his grumpy little face is popping up everywhere. And definitely one of this year's hottest costumes. We're gonna show you how to do the makeup, followed by how to make a grumpy cat spirit hood. This is Chrissy. She's an awesome makeup artist and cosplayer friend of ours who's gonna help us first with the makeup. To get started, you may want a picture of the grumpy cat for reference. Let's start with a full foundation cover-up brush. Grab your white pressed eyeshadow powder, start at the nose, and brush upwards and downwards, covering the forehead, temples, nose, mouth, and don't forget the chin. Next, take your darkest brown. You'll want an all-over eyeshadow brush for this. And begin filling in the eyelids, eyebrows, and down the sides of the face where we didn't apply the white to. I definitely like to take a lighter brown color and blend into the dark brown going down the face where the colors meet the whites. I even use a latex cosmetic wedge, also known as a sponge, for even more overall blending. So next, you'll want to grab your pink pressed eyeshadow and color in the tip of the nose and the nostrils very lightly. After that, use a fine tip watercolor brush or face painting brush and dot your upper mouth area using the light brown with whisker freckles. Finally, take a fine watercolor brush and brush into that light brown eyeshadow and start a line alongside the beginning of your eyebrow upward towards the forehead and blend the light brown powder outward from the eyebrow into the forehead. And of course, if you're off to an event or the clubby club, you want to keep that makeup on as best as you can with my favorite final seal. Just a couple of sprays and you're good to go. Grumpy Cat is a cat of very few words. One of them is no. This no sweatshirt, super easy to create. All you gotta do is get yourself a beige or cream color sweatshirt and make yourself a stencil. First, grab a plain sheet of paper and draw the word no on it. Then cut out with an X-Acto blade to create your stencil. Then take your sweatshirt to a well-ventilated area and using some spray glue, lightly coat the back of your stencil. Carefully place it on your shirt and surround it with newspaper to avoid overspray. Grab your black spray paint and begin to stencil on your design. Wait a minute or two to dry and then peel off. Boom, shirt done. Wanna finish this costume off with the quickness? Grab a pair of cat ears and you're good to go. But we're taking it to the next level and making a full on spirit hood. This requires some skill and a sewing machine. <laughs> DIY -er for life. To make this happen, you're gonna need about half a yard of cream or beige colored faux fur, some similar colored fleece material to create the lining, and a quarter yard or so of some darker brown fur. First, measure from the top of your head down to your shoulder. For me, this is about 16 inches and roughly how long your hoodie's gonna be. Then take your second measurement from the top of your head to your fingertips. And this will be the total length of your spirit hood. Mine's approximately 50 inches. Now lay out your fleece and with some chalk, create your pattern using your measurements. When drawing out your hood, it's sort of like making a D shape. For me, it's about 16 inches in length and about 10 inches in depth. You could also take a look at a hoodie in your closet and figure out the shape that way. When you come down to the end of your hood, curve it in a few inches to where you have two panels that are about six to eight inches in width. Now making sure your fleece is doubled over, pin your material into place and begin to cut out. You've now created your fleece lining as well as your pattern pieces for your fur. Now grab your faux fur and lay it face down and place your fleece pattern on top and chalk out your fabric, flipping over to make your second pattern piece. Cut out, making sure you have two pieces, one for the left side and one for the right. Remove any loose fur from the freshly cut edges, and if it's one thing you're gonna have, it's a lot of loose fur. You should now have your two faux fur pieces cut out and your two pieces of fleece. Next, lay your fabric pieces on top of one another right sides together. Pin both of the hoods into place and run a straight stitch from the top of the hood down to the bottom right before the curve. You've now got the shell for your spirit hood and the lining somewhat complete. On to the ears. Simply draw out a cat ear shape onto a piece of paper and cut it out. Then chalk that ear pattern out four times onto your brown faux fur and cut out. Place two ear pieces, fur sides together, and from about an inch up from the bottom, sew a straight stitch from one side to the other. Then flip inside out. That inch on the bottom you didn't sew should create these two little flaps. Repeat to the other ear piece, and you got yourself some ears. Now is the part where you figure out where you want your ears on your hood. Turn inside out, mark out with some chalk, and then grab some scissors and cut along your lines. Insert your ear like so. Those two little flaps you'll pin and then sew down with a straight stitch from one side to the other. This will make your ears sit nice and flat in your hood. Cut off the excess and your ears are done. Next, we're creating some paw pockets. Super simple. 
Lay your dark brown fur fabric side down and the two ends of your hoodie on top. Chalk and then cut out your two paw pieces. Place your paw pocket on top of your fur and sew it directly on top using a straight stitch. Your spirit hood is pretty much done, minus the lining, and it should look pretty much like this. Attach your fleece lining to your fur shell by placing both pieces right sides together. They should fit into each other, like so. Just make sure that the fur side is facing the right side of your fleece. Then pin the crap out of it around the entire length of your spirit hood. This is super important as the elasticity of the fleece is different than the fur, so the better pinned, the more control you'll have. You'll pin around the entire spirit hood, but be sure to leave a small opening in the back so that you can turn your hood right side out once you've finished sewing it. Now carefully sew a straight stitch around your entire hood. Once finished, use that opening you didn't sew together to turn your hood right side out. Once that's finished, neatly sew the hole closed. Last but not least, I cut out some paw prints from some felt and fabric glued them onto the fleece lining. And your grumpy cat spirit hood is complete. Makeup, check. Funny stenciled shirt, check. Faux fur grumpy cat spirit hood, check. Grumpy attitude, check and check. Want more costume tutorials and awesome DIY? Subscribe to Threadbanger. Click that button right there.